I'm Matthew Bolch, and I'm going to tell you how roller coasters work. Have you ever been on a roller coaster? If you've experienced it, then you know a thing for sure. It's a crazy feeling. Since roller coasters don't have engines, they must be pulled by a motorized chain to the top of the first hill. As the roller coaster rises, its potential energy keeps growing until it reaches its maximum potential energy at the top of the first hill. Potential energy is the amount of work the, the roller coaster will be able to do with the energy it builds up from falling down the other side of the hill. When a roller coaster crests the first big hill, gravity takes over, causing the roller coaster to fall at a constant rate. All, all that stored potential energy changes to kinetic energy. It can also be thought of as moving energy. Thought that roller coaster rides don't last forever. That's because roller coaster that's because roller coaster loses energy to to other forces as it does loop the loops, curves, and other hill, hills along the way. These forces eventually bring the roller coaster to a stop. Along with brakes, friction from the wheels, rubbing also helps to slow it down. After riding a roller coaster for the first time, you'll either swear off roller coasters forever or be hooked for life.